who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. The idea was to ride Invisalign with the Invisalign trace, but it's like super windy. So whenever I'm riding it, the wind comes and just so just imagine it says, just imagine it says Invisalign. All right, before we get into this, I just want to say I'm a big fan of Invisalign. I love Invisalign. I mean, it's the best thing ever. You don't see them, you don't hear it, you get straight teeth. But I've seen some other videos where people complain about Invisalign, and I just want to elaborate on that. First thing people complain about is that you can see them. You can definitely see attachments. I mean, before getting Invisalign, I saw a girl who had attachments, and I was like, bro, that looks like regular braces. Invisalign wanted to put attachments on my teeth, but I said no, and it still worked and now you can't see it. So if you're thinking about getting Invisalign, just talk to your orthodontist and tell them that you do not want attachments. That's what I did. Second thing a lot of people complain about is pain. You see, I don't really see pain as an issue because literally out of the 41 trays that I had until today, the first tray hurt bad, but I think that, uh, only the first couple of days, but I think that's normal because your teeth were like standing in the same position for your entire life and then all of a sudden there's a movement. So the first one always hurts. And I think the 39th tray, other than that, no pain. Out of 41, just two trays that hurt for the first couple of days. I'm very light sensitive, that's what, I'm, I'm sick right now and I'm very light sensitive. Uh, maybe I should just close my eyes for this video. And then the third thing, and last thing, I don't know if a lot of people are talking about this, but what I hate about Invisalign is your uh, dental health. So because these aligners are in your mouth for 22 hours a day, um, if you're not, if you're consuming any anything else but water or pure vodka, it's gonna, you see, whatever you drink, It'll be, it'll be going, wait. Whatever you drink, oh, this looks disgusting. Wait. This is actually my next Invisalign tray, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna open it and show you what happens when you drink something. So this is what it looks like, right? Your teeth are in here. Whenever you drink something, the water or the whatever you're drinking is gonna go inside. So let's say you're drinking orange juice or it's recently just been carnival in Germany and you're walking around on the streets, you don't have your toothbrush with you. Uh, let's say you're drinking beer, all right? So the beer is going inside. Even if you drank water after that to like, I don't know, clean your mouth, it's not going out. It's just staying on there and staying in it and it'll be right on your teeth. So for as long as you drink something else besides water or pure vodka, it will just stay right on your teeth, which I think is horrible, until you brush your teeth again. And I hate that. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining because like you can't see it, you can't hear it, there's nothing wrong with it, you get straight teeth and everything, but it's been in my mouth for like one and a half, one and a half years already, 22 hours a day, one and a half years. Um, so I think I'll be done with this by May. Um, and then you have to wear the retainers for at least half a year, the same amount of time that you're wearing the, um, Invisalign, um, aligners. So that would be two years. I started August, 2016. So I'll be, I'll be, I'll be basically done by August, 2018. And then from that on, I just have to wear it at night. Um, but that's been two years of wearing plastic in my mouth 
for 22 hours a day. If I ever consume anything else besides water, pure vodka, it would just stay on it. It will be, you have to go to the dentist way more often, like to get cleanups and stuff. I never really had issues with that, but because it's just recently been carnival in Germany and you're out in the street, everyone's drinking alcohol and I'm not gonna drink pure vodka. Um, so yeah, I just, so if you're on the streets for like 10 hours, you just have like literally beer on the liners, on your teeth for like 10 hours and that's disgusting I think, especially when it's like five days in a row. I mean, it was still my choice to do that, but yeah, if you're someone who's going out a lot, I can see a lot of people going to, to clubs and pre-drinking by like nine, going home by like six. So that's like nine hours of just having stuff in it. That's, that's like the only issue that I really, that I really don't like about it is like other than that it's great. I love it. You don't see it. You don't hear it. Uh, I don't really. I didn't really experience any pain. Um, I think it's great. I can. I'm gonna put a link to the uh, orthodontist in New York that I've been to where I got my Invisalign. Uh, I can only recommend them. They're the greatest. I think they're a preferred Invisalign provider in the U.S. I just wanted to elaborate on the videos that I've seen online, um, saying how you can see it or you can see it if you have attachments. It, there's pain, I didn't experience, I mean, I experienced pain in two trays, that's it, out of 41. And what I personally think, what the only thing that sucks about it is that like, whatever you're drinking is gonna stay on it. Um, yeah, that's it, I, I hope I'm gonna see you tomorrow again with like, feeling better. Uh, anyways, see you tomorrow. Shout out to Tarek Noshar. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Motherfucker?